Twin a scanner, huh? Gee scanner. In this video, I'm going to string up a Maverick Tactic 2.0 with the long awaited Throne Fiber 3. I've been a huge fan of Throne. Fiber 2 is probably my most used mesh over the past few years. So I was super excited when I saw that Fiber 3 was finally releasing. And this uh, colorway, what a color, what a perfect colorway for, uh, for a release drop because it showcases all their colors. And they these are some of the nicest looking colors, most vibrant I've seen in a mesh. However, as much as I loved the mesh and the shooters as well, I really did not um, care for the Fiber 2 string. I love and still do love the OG Fiber string, but the Fiber 2 string had some issues. The main one was it was really hard to get a good uh, tip after you trimmed it. And uh, it just did not really take to the flame all that well. It had a, a weird uh, feel to it as well. I think uh, Throne was is more concerned about overall durability. I'm just this is just conjecture on my part. So I wanted to try the Fiber Three string to uh, to see what was different. So this isn't really like a full pattern video. This isn't like I don't have a dialed in pattern with yet. I'm just, this is more about the mesh and the stringing. While I'm here, I figured I would show you how I string an 8-diamond top string using standard 10-9-diamond mesh. So all I do is I start from the uh, middle out. I start going about in a 10-diamond, a, a, wo a woven top string along the 10-diamond row. And then when I get to the end here, I utilize this technique I saw from watching goalie stringing videos. Most goalie mesh is 12 diamonds, but the top strings are essentially 11 because with this very last diamond, they just kind of fold it um, like flat, as you'll see. But one note I want to make here is I am utilizing that very first sidewall hole that often gets neglected. And I think stringing companies are starting to notice that. So in the Maverick uh, Tactic 2.0, and it looks like in the Kinetic 2.0 from the pictures I've seen, this very first sidewall hole is super small. I think it is really only meant for trads. And as you can see, that Fiber 3 string did not hold its tip, much like Fiber 2 did. It. So um, I will try to re-tip it later with the flame. Maybe it'll uh, hold it better. I hope it holds better up, holds up better than Fiber 2. But all I'm going to do is... Um, it's still like that basic same double interlock hitch that you do along the top string, except now I'm doing it in that um that first sidewall hole. And as you can see, I'm not even using that uh tenth diamond at the end. In fact, uh in some of my sticks I actually cut that diamond out and then burn the ends. Uh, I would recommend not doing that just because you don't really need to. And anytime you cut mesh, it's really dicey, even at the bottom. If you ever cut mesh, let me just, I'm just going to say cut it uh, longer than you think you need. Because once you, uh, once you go too far, there's no going back. And then it's a real bummer, even on a bottom string to lose a, a diamond. So, here, man, these colors are just insane. Um, I love the purple and orange colorway. Anytime it's in a sneaker, it seems like people call it the Joker colorway. But for me, it'll always be the Constructicons colorway. Every time I see purple and orange, I, I just see uh, the Constructicons merging to form Devastator. So, this uh, string, it... It's a little different than Fiber 2 feel-wise, but it's closer to Fiber 2 than the OG Fiber than I would have liked to have seen. So there it is. You see, I just kind of butted those two um, end diamonds up, and you effectively have an 8-diamond top string now. 
and it like all the woven tap strings it will look better once you um, really stretch it out and the whole pocket is uh, complete. So using a single string really gives you some options and if you're using this fiber three kit it already comes in one piece so this is the perfect time to try a single string. So here are some things you can do. Uh, you can lock down that next nine diamond row. I call this the uh, eight, nine, ten, because I lock consecutively, consecutively the eight, the nine, and then the ten diamond rows. The, uh, you don't have to lock down the nine diamond row. I kind of did it out of habit, just because like you're so used to using it as your top string. And this is going through the second sidewall hole in the tactic, and this sidewall hole was definitely meant for a loop start or a, or a double loop tie off. I, it's, you can tell Maverick designed this head with, with this in mind, but I just think single string is so, uh, versatile. And, uh, I mean, you could even just go right into like an anchor knot or, you know, whatever. And again, just to reiterate, this is basically the exact same uh, interlock you use on the top string. It's basically when you break it down to consecutive interlocks, you just kind of alternate uh, which way they're going. So this is a great way to um, set up your pocket, whether you're stringing to the inside or the outside. On this one, I strung to the outside just because I hadn't done it in a while and I wanted to show this, my uh, outside stringing tie-off. Instead of going straight through from the inside out of the plastic, um, I just didn't like the way that last diamond would sit. So I do it basically like a regular sidewall interlock, but then I go directly through that same uh sidewall hole i see some people kind of just do a loop like a double loop but without any uh interlock at all I, f I just like the way this interlock um keeps the sidewall string orientated the same way like all along the back and then you just do your immediate tie off right there which leads us to the bottom string. Now you can just use whatever leftover sidewall you have. That's what Throne usually does in their videos. For a long time, I have been asking them to make a bottom string out of their top string material, just that, but like shorter with the gold aglets, but they haven't done it yet. So I'm gonna use this tie-dye 550 paracord. And since this is a Throne video, I'm gonna use the bottom string that they seem to use the most from their videos, which is a classic nine diamond in and out. Now my only issue with this is that you have to skip over that middle diamond for it to like line up right. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to use a woven bottom string technique, but only for that middle diamond. Now if you've seen my other videos, you see I use a woven uh, bottom string and this is that same technique, but I'm only doing it just for that one diamond. And that prevents um, you from having to skip over that diamond altogether. It keeps everything even. And you also get this cool, like, like a whale tail effect, which is ironic because the woven bottom string I've seen called the fishtail bottom string as well, but I think... This looks more like a fishtail when it's all said and done than when you weave the entire row. So other than that, it's the same thing as their classic nine diamond in and out uh, bottom string. And I have used um, thrown, like extra thrown bottom or uh, top, string, top nylons for bottom strings and they work great. So I would really love to see them make bottom strings out of that stuff but since they haven't 550 paracord is a great way to go comes in a ton of colors and it's extremely durable so here's something i just thought i would uh share with everyone this is thread tape or teflon tape it's a super thin uh tape and 
I'm testing a theory here. If you've ever just had like one handle to go around for like a bunch of heads, you're always uh, switching them in and out, screwing and unscrewing. That hole can get pretty worn and eventually it can get too big for the screw and that's a really big pain. So I'm just trying to see if putting this tape on the screw beforehand will um, help with the longevity of that screw hole. And I had already put this on the top hole, so this is, that tape is on both holes. I guess I could have, I should have done it only on one of them, but oh well, just that, you know, little something. And finally, since Throne has not made their bottom string, as I keep going on and on about, uh, I took matters in my own hands, literally here. I bought this aglet crimper from Amazon, and it is not as good good as uh the real thing from throne uh for one the throne aglets actually say throne on them which is like the definition of baller but this will do this will get you by in a pinch see what i did there anyway here's the um finished product this isn't like my dialed in uh pattern it's just a really basic like just something to string up and see see how this mesh felt. Um, I love the throne shooters, I must say. So uh, my initial instincts are the shooters, mesh, big yes, string. Mm, not there yet. Uh, but here, man, look at that in the sunlight, though. That color is, I cannot wait for the full, like, release I'm really interested to see in the pattern they go with on the mesh. Obligatory channel shot there. Obligatory booty shot. And from stringing this head up, I get the feeling that it's going to be like a uh, fiber two where the white is going to be a little stretchier. So I can't wait for that to come out. And my first impression is that at worst, it's on par with fiber two, which is to say that it's very, very, very good. So I'm super excited. Uh, they killed it with this release like they always do. So, yeah, for watching, I thought to get with Rosneg.